Hey everyone, so in this episode what we're going to do is we're going to quickly clean up our products and uh, let me just show you our problem. So we're going to pages and to index and let's open these two. Uh, let's go to our application products and open create product as well. So at the moment you can see how we're sort of passing this stuff around here and uh, this is not this is not how we want to handle passing parameters around. To explain this, this application layer, this is where we want to contain our view models. So if we swap out the UI for something else, we still want to be able to consume the same view models. So let's do just that. Let's take our product view model. Let's cut it with Control X and let's go into our create product and let's put it here, right at the bottom. Okay, <clears throat> and now what we can do is just basically say accept this as a parameter, VM, and give VM, 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 and let's just make sure that this resides outside of this class here. So. Ideally, we want to move it to a separate folder here, but we're not going to do that because our uh, create product is just 30 lines of code and I don't want to create another file for that sake. So let's go into here. And here we can see our product view model, imported from shop application product. So shop application product. Here's the namespace, and if we hover over this, we can see it's coming from that namespace. And you can see we're not losing any of the bindings on our front end. So let's quickly fix this. Product. So hopefully you can see the benefit of this. If uh, basically, if we have in our application, right? Our application has access to what we want in our database. And if it stores the view model, then our UI basically doesn't control what really we really want to display. What we want to display comes from the shop. So if we say we want to swap out the shop that we use for the UI, all we have to do is really replace this and then adjust the project accordingly. If we want to display, uh, if we want to change the, the UI for the shop, we still have the same model. And uh, maybe we're just switching from Angular to Vue or from Vue to React, etc. This allows us to just configure the UI layer and leave the backend alone to stay the same throughout. So, in short, this shop.application is our shop and it states what data we want to display. Shop.UI handles how we display that data. And no matter which UI we use, we always want to display only the data that the shop provides. So this will be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to keep this, uh, this one short since the last few episodes were kind of long. This, so it's a bit of a break. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed the series, like, subscribe. It will help my channel out a lot. Otherwise, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them and see you in the next episode.